right guys, well today did not work out as well as I had hoped. The first hour of riding was actually pretty sweet. I was hitting whoops better than I've ever done before. Don't forget, this is my fifth time riding. And um, we were doing pretty good. I felt comfortable on the bike and everything. Something went wrong on the way down a trail and, and my friend's son was on his little TTR 110 in front of me and I really don't exactly know what happens. It looks like I took the inside of a curve. He took the outside and cut across and maybe hit the brakes. And since dirt bikes don't often have um, brake lights on the back and I was probably in second gear and right on the edge of a power band, it looks like it just kind of, in long story short, I ran into him and gently. He's okay, we, we, it, that's all okay. But I did this. I don't even see that. I did that, which really isn't as bad as it looks, but still, it's it's just part of it, right? I mean, that's what happens when you ride, and I've actually had worse mountain biking, so that's not a big deal. Then, um, because my shoulder's a little stiff and sore from falling earlier, I wanted to make sure that I didn't like let it sit too long or whatever, because we came out to have a day of riding. Well, probably should have stopped, because after that occurred, does anything look askew on the bike? Well, let's start with the fact that that between the, the first accident and my friend trying to pick up the bike and it falling back over, which I'm not blaming him for this. We don't know what caused it, but sometime in that period, this got spun up, which isn't a big deal, but the, the clutch lever, I mean, the yeah, the clutch lever totally bent. Right? Well, then you come around the back of this thing and does that look right to you? It doesn't look right to me. Well, that's because I'm pretty sure the subframe's bent. Oh, it's not bent, it's torn. Look at that, it broke. So you can see right there, the subframe bent. I, I went through a, a dip and as I went through the dip, I throttled to try to get the front up over it and um, I'm sure it's just because my, my I was I'm shaking from the first situation and my shoulders a little sore I, I just couldn't handle it and it whiskey throttled on me and it looped out I came off and slid on my butt about 10 feet just sitting down with my feet out in front of me so that wasn't too bad my, my butt is a little sore but I, I can handle that but this looped out, it, it did break the subframe right there, as you can see. And then look at this. Isn't that just awesome? Completely clogged up. And um, that part, if you don't know, should be attached to that part. And it's definitely not attached. So yeah, um, we're calling it quits because, well, I can't afford any more damage today. <laughs> Slightly used, never wrecked KX250, 2000 model <laughs> eBay, pretty soon. <laughs> Keep an eye out for it. <laughs> no. So yeah, that's what's going on. Um, we're gonna get it loaded up. I'm gonna take it home tomorrow or Tuesday. I'll probably drop it off at Highland Cycles. Let Morgan look over it a little bit, see what he can do with his finagling. Get things back to, to working and par, make sure it's all okay other than that. And we'll go from there. So yeah, I, I don't know if this was interesting to you or not, but it was interesting for me. That was for sure. And my friend thought it was interesting. Good thing though, best and most important thing, his son's okay. I, I, I feel so, so bad that that even happened. And it's just, uh, he was cool about it as he says it's just part of dirt bikes right it's just part of riding and and you can't control all the circumstances so I'm, I'm gonna just keep at it next time i'm not following so <laughs> that's it all right we're gonna get this thing loaded and i'm gonna get home and try to take some ibuprofen all right talk to you guys later bye